let's talk about this uh, moment when people are depressed and they feel uh, fixating on a certain substance like a drug or alcohol or maybe sex for example or doing something that to take them off that uh, mood and later on they discover, they discover that it's actually get them addicted to that thing do you think it's uh, it's actually safe to uh, encourage people to do other things as, except from dealing with that uh, moment that depression or to uh, what what positive thing can we actually do to, to stop people from being addicted to certain things that actually is a cause of the depression i'm going to be very honest with you we can't say that we will completely be happy 24 7 okay every day every week but what you can do when you are in that moment is to process it and try as much as possible to get out of it so for example if you have someone that is um, that just lost a loved one you don't expect that person after one day to say okay <laughs> life has continued <laughs> uh, where did we stop no that person has to go through that process and we understand that person is grieving but we should not um, push people towards taking things to pass that stage there are certain times that okay this i um, i read somewhere that it's actually good to cry sometimes you need to cry yeah. and we should not stop people from feeling all those emu- emotions it's just to teach them how to properly handle it we shouldn't push people towards taking drugs or um alcohol or other substances they might get addicted to we should always encourage them that okay you can exercise you can do something to get it off your mind you can just accept it as it come even if it is hard and we ju- we're just there for them and we're constantly encouraging them you know you know in our school system in nigeria because i not i didn't school outside so i school in nigeria talk on based on nigeria we don't have um we don't have guidance counselors and the schools that have maybe their private schools maybe uh schools that they're actually paying heavily for that and you see that most times students don't want to communicate to these people and they don't want to tell them what is going on a lot of teenagers a lot of people are actually depressed especially with social media outside everybody is saying goals everybody wants to be goals and yet they are not achieving it at the young <laughs> age exactly <laughs> exactly everybody wants to be a uh, relationship goes they want to be traveling around the world and all these things people think people generally think that if they don't attend this thing at certain age they failed as a person or they've not uh, they failed as a person so how do we uh, what are we supposed to do now in a setting where there's no provision of uh, guidance counselors or therapists in schools and students are more and more depressed yearly and daily and they can't talk to anybody so um even with the presence of guidance counselors in certain schools in nigeria trust me you see have a higher percentage of their children going through things without speaking out because i noticed that most people they put there they are not welcoming like ha how will I go and talk to this woman now? Hey, do you want to, want to tell the whole school yeah, about what I'm that's going to <laughs> So you have people that are afraid of that. We need to encourage um, our children to reach out to us. And by that, we need to get more people into the profession. Okay. I would prefer psychologists to guidance counselors because psychologists... Bo- um, they undergo a certain type of training and it's usually um, broad and they have better dealings with children but if you can't handle that you can make use of guidance counselors who are welcoming, look welcoming dressed um, I'm looking for the nice word to use but <laughs> <laughs> their dress sense is and, you know, you get, and they look presentable and yeah. children just want to oh I like this person, so I want to go and talk to this person. Maybe awareness will also help. Yeah, the, I think one of the problem is most people that they employ, they are not like in their age range. They don't think they will understand what they are like. Imagine could give bringing a woman of fifty years, she won't understand what uh, maybe uh, someone that was just uh, cyber bullied, and she's going through that process of how to 
not get crazy and how to uh, maintain ourselves. So I guess I think that's one of the problems to the oh uh, the person that I bring it to is not in the he's not in the league or he's not in the age group or age range. Thank you very much. Also, I want to how do how can someone cope with depression? Someone who is depressed, how can someone actually cope with it as if it's a clinical depression, someone that has been diagnosed of having depression, how can someone cope with it? Okay, so um, let me just say this. For people who have been clinically diagnosed with depression disorder, it's because um, this, whatever they've been feeling or going through has been consistent for two weeks or more. So um, I'm going to first start with people that will feel very subtle signs or symptoms of depression because of maybe certain situations or circumstances that may come that way. Um, please, if you're feeling sad, reach out to someone, talk to someone. Now we have uh, anonymous chat lines where you can reach out to people and if you don't want anybody to know your name or see you or you don't want any family yeah, member to know, you can reach out to those people then um please try as much as possible to not listen to sad songs because <laughs> i think that's another trigger I do, I do. You just... <laughs> <laughs> then you can try and exercise go on a long walk listen to really good music that makes you happy maybe eat chocolate or you can process the feeling and be like, okay, so this has happened, but I'm going to move past this. Then for people who have been clinically diagnosed with depression, because I'm not yet into that field, I know that there are two, three ways you can actually go about it. They either do talk therapy, the use of drugs, or they do both, both talk therapy and use of drugs. So it depends on what the psychologist or psychiatrist will recommend. Yeah, thank you very much for coming. Uh, thank you. To share that. So, are there organizations or anonymous tips that we can actually put online so to help people or other ways at which people can actually reach out? People that they don't know what to do and they are really down, especially September. I think September, September is a month of mental awareness. So, a lot of people want to reach out, but they don't know what to do. They can't talk to their friends. They feel they will not, they will laugh at them or they will think they are not strong mentally so the stigma that comes with it so how do people uh are the organizations here in nigeria that people can actually reach out to get help okay um september is actually national suicide prevention month and yeah. last week was the whole week for it So I think the first thing we have to do is not just about reaching out to people, but we need to not be triggers ourselves. So if, I think everyone in the world should be a little nicer to people. You don't have to bully people. If you don't like someone's opinion, you can say, oh, I do not agree with your opinion instead of dragging the person. If yeah. something happens and you don't know the head, middle or tail <laughs> of the whole situation do not get involved and bring someone down if someone is saying oh this person did this to me and i feel like we have law courts to um to help restore order in the society so you can tell that person oh if it's something that cannot be settled amicably you can reach out to reach out to the organizations we have in nigeria we have um there are some Twitter handles of anonymous chat lines so people can reach out to. So I think I'll just give you and you can post it after the yeah. video. Yeah, it will be in the description. Below. And I'm current. Yes, and I'm currently working with one as a volunteer, African Mental Health Matters. So you can also reach out to them. They're on Instagram, they're on Twitter. Okay. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you for giving us detailed explanation of what depression is. And I think a lot of people will learn from this because it's a very, uh, it's a very desperate or it's a very uh, serious topic now because depression is increasing daily, especially with the new vices, the social media too, which is not helping. So thank you very much for your contribution. Mm -hmm. I really appreciate and we enjoyed the moment. Thank you very much. So if you want to 
talk to Bemi or follow Bemi or you want to learn more, I'll put her description down below and you can she can help you out. Uh, she will she will help, right? <laughs> yes, definitely. <laughs> yeah, so we'll put her description down below. She can also help with other uh, mental health uh, facilities or organizations that, can, that in Nigeria that will help us. Thank you very much. And if you like the video, please like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you, and go. <laughs> Bye. Thank you very much. Bye. Thank Bye. you. Bye. Bye.